Today we're going to try something, and I've got to admit, I'm a little bit scared. Just a lot of bit scared. Here's the problem that we have on Crooked Gap Farm. It is rain and erosion. When we purchased this farm, it had been in the Conservation Reserve Program for 15 years, but not a lot had been done with it. There had been a prairie planting done, and other than that, it was not taken care of. In years previous to that, even though it's pretty hilly, I'm standing at the bottom of a hill here. As you look up over my shoulder, you can see kind of the layout of the farm, but it's all funnels down to here. Here's the cows where we moved them yesterday. It all funnels down to here and all of the rain washes to this one place. And we have a pretty big ravine coming down the middle of this funnel. If you see over my shoulder right here, we have this fence post. This fence post is uh, the problem. When we put this fence post in about 10 years ago, uh, this fence post had about five feet of dirt behind it before it went down into this ravine. And now we've got five feet in front of it have all washed out. I'll just step down in it for you here as I'm going down in to the abyss. This is the problem that we're having. You know, I'm I'm standing below the fence post and uh, this is a pretty big problem. Like I said, we don't want to have this all wash out. Now there are a lot of things that we could do. Probably one of the options if we talk to a lot of people would be to put terraces in uh, going up this ravine. That's something that maybe we will do at some point, um, but it's just not in the cards right now for us to do financially. So what, what our thought has been um, over time is we've been trying to uh, plant trees down in here. So right behind me here is a fast growing hybrid willow tree. Uh, where we you just take some cuttings not like this But you know you take some cuttings and you stick them in the ground and and that tree has been growing for for not very long And you can tell behind it. Um, I hope you can tell behind it, but there's there is some it's holding up some soil Below it. There's not a lot but behind it. There's still some grass there This next thing that I said we're gonna do or that I said I'm a little bit scared about is we're gonna try to create a dam in the ditch for things to this all this washout to back up behind and maybe create some organic matter so the plan today is to take the 4430 and dump a bunch of old hay bales down in there honestly we're just going to see what happens there's not a lot to lose in this situation so we're just going to do our best and and see what happens I decided it would be best if we put some counterweight on the back of the tractor because we're going to be going downhill and dropping bales off and I want to be able to back out. Um, it would be nice if we had a four-wheel drive tractor to do this with. We don't, so we're going to do the best we can. I've got the first bale on. We're going to go in to the spot. We're going to give it a try. All right, there is the first bale. It didn't go as far as I wanted it to go, I guess. But uh, I don't know, we'll see. See, here's a tree. This isn't one we planted, it's, but it's kind of holding it in there. Uh, but over there, there's, there's soil. So I think if we can kind of flip a bale over that one a little bit, and then kind of start filling in here, this might be one of the more narrow parts of the ravine, so. It's a little sketchy, I'm not going to lie.
Update time. I've been dropping in a lot of bales. I don't know how many bales we're up to now. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bales. This is what we're trying to do. What we're trying to do is not stop the water. Uh, hay bales in the ravine is not stopping the water. The water is all washing down. The only thing that's going to stop the water is um, organic matter and soil which we're building up on the hill. We've been building it for 12 years and we've seen an increase of that and terraces or some swales or something like that. Something to slow the progress of the water down. What we are trying to do is stop the dirt. Okay. Um, let's see. I feel like a mountain climber. Ugh. What's that free solo guy movie? That's me. Uh, what we're trying to do is stop the dirt because if you look behind me here, that is goes down into a ravine, uh, a bigger, deeper ravine, and then goes off our property to the west. So we're just trialing and erroring, I guess I should say. Whoa. Our hope is that we can just slow the dirt down a little bit. Um, I think that's what our hope is. Uh, if you, let's see if I can get up here and show you guys a little bit more. This ravine has been a problem for quite some time on our farm, probably even before it was our farm. I'm right on the edge of it right here. If you look right, right where my finger is pointing right there, that is some field fence, some wire that, uh, you know, a farmer previously had thrown in this to try to do some erosion control. So this has been a problem for a long time. Uh, we're doing the best that we can to solve it. We've got five bales left. Let's see what we can do. I think that went well. I mean, I didn't fall in. The bales pretty much went where I wanted and the tractor's still running, which I think all of those things add up to a successful day dropping 15 or 17, I forget how many bales we put in here. Uh, we put one, two, three, four, five, six more bales um, in here. This is kind of the front of it. We do have this huge gap um, in here where we haven't put any bales yet. Uh, and I don't know if we're going to be able to there's a lot of berries and stuff like that here. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to put any bales right here yet, but... Whoa! All in all, it was successful, like I said. This is never going to be the solution. What we're hoping is this is part of the solution as we work towards the better solutions. Did that make sense? Part of the solution until we work towards the better solution. So, I want to thank you guys all for coming along for the ride with me today. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Let's see if we can rock out the thumbs up. Let's rock out the subscriptions. Let's rock out the bell notifications. Tell your friends about us. Share the videos. Whatever you want to do. I'm just glad you guys are watching and thankful for you. I hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to hop in the tractor. We're done.